So, now see next topic is here that is thrust and pressure. See what do you mean by thrust, what do you mean by pressure. So, see a very simple example if you are standing on the ground you has got your weight that means you have got uh, some force which is being applied with, with which you are being pulled by earth. So, if you have your weight and you are standing on the floor, so you are applying force on the ground. This force you cannot generally observe because you mostly you stand on the hard floors, hard surfaces, but if you, if you stand on the sand, what will happen? You will find the sand gets depressed. It means some force is acting because of that force your feet goes down into the sand and there is a depression which can be easily visible. Now, suppose uh, if you are taking another example, even though if you are wearing shoes, you know applying some force, if you are standing on a weighing machine, you are, your weight is there that can be measured by the weighing machine. So, these are the about the forces. So, whenever a force acts perpendicular to the surface, suppose you have taken any surface here and a force is acting perpendicular to the surface, this force may be in any direction. Suppose this, this side also it may be perpendicular, this side it may be perpendicular, if this is the surface this may be perpendicular. So, force if the force is perpendicular to any surface we can write we can say that is actually thrust. So, this is your surface. So, perpendicular force acting to the surface perpendicular force acting on the surface is known as thrust. So, SI unit of thrust is only Newton because it is a force. Now, we can define after thrust there is one more quantity that is a pressure. So, we can take here as I gave example in the starting about the sand, there is a depression in the sand, we can also refer as pressure. So, basically pressure is thrust upon area. So, thrust per unit area is known as pressure, thrust is measured in Newton, 1 Newton. So, upon 1 meter square. So, you can see unit is Newton per meter square which is also written as 1 Pascal. So, or we can write here 1 Pascal. So, pressure is 1 Pascal. So, now see here in the pressure is very important here pressure is equal to force upon area this force is actually thrust and this is area. See from here if area is large, now I will take here this example again here, pressure is equal to force upon area. If area is A is large, pressure will be less. If A is small, so pressure will be large. 